Hello everyone and welcome to G Gaming. I am Officer Para. Uh today we are starting a different type of game. We are starting The Long Dark. Uh Winter Mute. Um I might do some survival mode later on, but right now I'm concentrating on Winter Mute. New one. I'm gonna go green just because I have aim. The Joker. the Joker. Seems about right. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. He said it used to be beautiful. Not much reason to go there these days, since the quakes and all. Ah, a rare Mackenzie family photo. Miss you, Dad. Thank you. 
Turned out pretty well. Explore the hangar. Jackrabbit remote transport. Zero flights a day to the mainland communities and, well, anywhere really. Damn, I was right. Pipes froze up again. Take the hammer now. Getting pretty late in the day. Guess I could take a nap. Well, here we are, old girl. Your best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. Those were better days. <clears throat> Who could that be? Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For once, will you not be so damn Whoa, whoa, well, slow down, Maury. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know you need the money. The weather service... It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh... Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No 
questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. I mean, it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yep. Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Let's see. Two people plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Astrid's a doctor, so we're covered there. But probably best to have some extra meds just in case. Water, energy bars, purification tablets. Breakfast of champions. Astrid's traveling pretty light. Wherever she's going, must not be planning to stay long. The mysterious case. Astrid definitely doesn't want to talk about what's inside. Which means she's probably not supposed to have it. Just need to grab my parka and we can go. Stress. Doctor, that sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and just drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. And it's under control. I know, okay? I'm not here to fight, really. I think about them all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. Choice I made. I did it for us. 
You don't have to. Mud's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... But just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Will? Damn. Hold a stick. Astrid. Astrid! I must have gone right through the windshield. Trees broke my fall. Oh, mostly. Gotta stop that blue. Die if I don't warm up soon. I could probably climb that. Thanks. Ah, oh, don't want to do that. some shelter from this wind.
I'll probably Come go on. go again. This house. I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. Astrid hasn't come looking for me. Which means she can't come looking for me. Because she's hurt. Or worse. I'd better get back up to the crash site. I would do anything for a drink right now. Tips. Finally made it. I got the button to run. Button to run, right? Plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. I've been looking for you. Astrid's back. Locked. Tumbler lock. Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. Could probably I hope she hasn't that. already died for it. Day.
She definitely passed through here. And in a hurry. See bunnies. Sorry. Aim this way. Astrid, where did you go? Oh, here. Ah. Looks like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. Greatest thing that's ever been in this game. Thank you. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell?
Great, a town. Maybe I can find help there. Look, smoke from that chimney. That means someone's home. Hello? Anyone out there? Dead guy over here. What happened here? <sighs> this whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Oh, that trick. Hello? Anybody here? Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy shit! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. O okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice, and you haven't left like the others. So, must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Listen. Could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you're here, Things must be worse than they thought. Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name, once. But for years the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. 
can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. Sitting here with a rifle in your hand. You expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> They were wrong. Who are the bad men? The men, they, they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the light. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Where are we? Milton. A forgotten town, deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But, uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm. My compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, well, it's almost impossible get to, or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help you find your friend. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you out, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would've helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you. Outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Are you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here, since the quakes. 
No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left to wait to notice it. Okay. Well, any idea how we can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for hell, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline and it was suddenly cut. And so, we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That, I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. What really happened here? It seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair, would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it, possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do. After the quakes. If there was ever another emergency. Go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? 
I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Never mind. Before, you mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? The memories are gray, misty. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. The blizzard was waking up soon. There was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Eight thousand calories of and I think it's twelve pounds of wood. So with that, I'm gonna do it right here. That's going to be it for this episode. So, um, we're going to try to keep these between 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so, this is the first part. Uh, the getting Astrid into the plane, taking off. Having a EMP of sorts going down. Mackenzie getting injured, trying to find Astrid. Stumbling into the town, finding the crazy blind lady with the rifle. Uh, so next time we will, I guess, explore the town of Milton. All right. I hope everyone has a good one, and I'll see you later.